Wonderful scene here at Wembley, an ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. It's Manchester City, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And so they starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea stands between the posts. Casemiro plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack is Marcus Rashford. Thank you. Enjoy your day here at Wembley Stadium. Absorbing match in prospects. Manchester United get the ball rolling. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Laporte. Now with Silva. Grealish. That's how to rob them of possession. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. Oh, they and... might score here, Stuart! And danger still! Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Well, for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench, who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. City pushing forward with options available. Holland. Grealish. Straight offside, but only just. Ericsson. Now Casemiro. Rashford. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Walker. The ball with Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Holland. Rodri. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Needs an accurate cross. Defensive efficiency personified. Bruno Fernandes. 
and Rashford Sancho on to Bruno Fernandes and it's gone out of play goal kick coming up Kevin De Bruyne the ball with Rodri Mares Holland De Bruyne keeping the ball moving well, didn't go as a plan in the end breaking at pace making excellent progress with the ball at his feet teammate available oh yes Manchester United have made the opening statement in this final they take the lead well let's have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal continues and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback Rodri here's Grealish the ball with Rodri Ruben Diaz Rodri and space for the cross A classic example of how to intercept. Well, we've almost reached the halfway mark here. Manchester United on top. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts so far. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And so it is. The first half story has been written. The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Bernardo Silva. The ball with Rodri. And taking it away. Rafael Varan. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes now what can they do from here and back with Bruno Fernandes really vital interception here well the counter chance looks very real can they take advantage of the situation went in strongly decisively Bruno Fernandes. Malassia. Now with Rashford. At times they make passing look easy. Jaden Sancho. Bruno Fernandes. Can he open the door to a potential goal? He's got to score! That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Marcus Rashford. To be replaced by number 7, Cristiano Ronaldo.
Can someone get on the end of this? It didn't happen for them. Sancho. And Casemiro carries it forward. But really sticking to the task defensively. Good bit of pressing. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Ruben Diaz. De Bruyne now. Holland. And into the last 20 minutes. And that pass could be troublesome. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Grealish. Holland. Excellent defending. And you don't want to lose possession there. And that is how to block. Running with the ball confidently. Gundogan waiting for it. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. And Manchester City will go to their bench. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Number 10, Jack Grealish, coming onto the pitch. Number 47, Phil Foden. Ericsson. Now Casemiro. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. excellent progress with the ball at his feet wonderful tackle and just five minutes remaining Cristiano Ronaldo well the United fans are making so much noise here oh that's a penalty and at a crucial phase in the game Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch. Here's a change for Manchester United. Coming onto the pitch. Number 39, Scott McTominay. This to put them back in front. In it goes! A well taken penalty. Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. And what can they do to stop him running at them? And a goal kick will be next. And there goes the final whistle. 
The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition. And so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. Yeah, really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.